Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos since updates. Take notice that unless you obey the directions contained in this court order, you will be guilty of contempt of court and will be liable to be committed to prison. Federal High Court wants DSS. Oh yes, now on Friday, the Federal High Court in Abuja issued a notice of consequences against Adiola Oluwatoshin Ajayi, the Director General of the Department, Department of the State Services, DSS, for contempt of court. Oh yes. Now the court in the notice dated October 18, 2024, and signed by its registrar, threatened that the DSS boss will be committed to prison if he continue to disobey court's orders by denying the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onyen Mazankan, access to his lawyers. Oh, yes. Now look at the notice quote. Take notice that unless you obey the directions of con directions contained in this order, see over leave. By allowing the applicants counsel to conduct the court order visitations with the applicants on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you will be guilty of contempt of court and will be liable to be committed to prison. End of quote. Yes, this part of the notice I've just read. Now, confirming the, de the, de the development, the special counsel to Mazda Mekano, talking about Barrister Aloy Ejimako, said that the notice by the court was necessitated, but the DSS repeated the disobedience of the court or that three days in a week visitation of Onyendu by his lawyers. Oh, yes. Now, Ejimako said that with the court's notice, if the DSS director Ajayi continues to deny the masses to Onyendu, Mazda Mekano, the legal team will be left with no option but to commence vigorous contempt proceedings against him. In Ejimako's words, quote, This notice is necessitated by the repeated disobedience of the court order the visitation of Mazda Namdekan by the newly appointed Director General of the State Security Services, Mr. Diola Lubatoshi Ajayi, who has for almost a month not allowed Mazda Namdekan's lawyers to visit him. To be clear, this notice is a quasi-criminal ju judicial process that for once any person disobeying a court order of the penal consequences of such misconduct. Therefore, if the Director General of DSS persists on this ignoble part, he will leave us with no option, no other option than to commence vigorous contempt proceedings against him. End of quote. Now, you recall that Joseph Bintanyako had in a judgment delivered on May 20, 2024, issued an order varying the, the condition of visitation of to Mazina Mekano in the DSS custody to a three days a week. Now the court ordered that quote, he is to be given a safe and clean room to be made av available to the defendant at the present facility to prepare for his defense with his team of counsel not exceeding five in number. That there should be allowed such facility that is required for the preparation of his defense and be allowed to take notes. End of quote. That's the court have ordered. However, the legal team has on several occasions raised an alarm that the DSS moved from secretly recording their conversations with Mazam Kano to completely denying them access to Nyendu Mazam Kano, hence making it impossible for them to prepare Mazam Kano for his defense. Oh, yes, that's what's happening. Yes. Yes. The contempt of court. This man, Ajayi, Tinebu's brother, you know, once he removed all the, any of the, you know, DG or minister from a very important position or very strategic, like security or economy, he will replace them with his brother. That's this uh, Tinebu government. Fulanize uh, economy, fulanize security. Yes. That's the way they operate. They don't trust any person, any other tribe. They only that's why we're afraid. What country what kind of nation you have people are building? These people who call themselves leaders. When Bore was there, it was all fulani, all fulani, all fulani, all fulani, all fulani, all fulani, all fulani. Everywhere fulani. Everywhere security fulani. The economy fulani. This is evident. It's there. People are there aware. That it was Fulanai's government, Fulanai's economy, Fulanai's uh, security, 
Now is the turn of the Yorubas. Tinubu said he's from the southwest, a Yoruba man. They fulanize the economy. It's the evidence that is there. Go and check. From the economy, appointment, Yorubas. Now, this DSS man, the Yoruba man, he appointed him of recently. Not up to two months now. So he wants to show that uh, he's working and he, so he wants to show it with Mazam Kano. Okay? He wants to do Gragra. And that Gragra to show his kinsman who appointed him that oh, he's working. And that is to use Mazam Kano to show that he's working. To announce his arrival as the DSS uh, boss is to disregard court order on Mazam Kano. Visitation should stop it. Okay? Three days approved by the court, for the high court. Said no, because you want to prove that you are working. You want to show your master that you are doing well. That is to use Mazam Khan to show how you know efficient you are in your new appointed position. You've seen it. So that is why people don't want to tell themselves the truth. That this is not working. Now you see him, Ajayi. See you, man. So people who said, Ibo man, the Ibo people, wait for your turn. And of course, uh, if you ask the Ibo man, say, why do you urbanize uh, you the economy and you urbanize the security architecture? They will tell you it's, it's their turn. Uh, whether when Buhari was there, I didn't see it, that the economy was uh, fluenized. The security architecture was, was fluenized. Now it's their turn to urbanize the economy and fluenize, and urbanize the security architecture. You are complaining. If any Ibo man will tell you, wait for your turn. Wait for your turn. When your turn comes, you urbanize the economy and urbanize the security architecture. Now, tell me how you grow a country like this, how you run a nation like this, and it, you expect it to grow. Tomorrow, people will complain. Even as we say, complain everywhere about bad governance, leadership, poverty, hardship everywhere, retrogression, backwardness. Okay? These are the things causing it. How do you expect things to change when you are doing the same thing? I spend different results. It will not work. People believed in their in their ethnicity, in their where they come from, the ethnic nationality, more than the country. So it will not work. Let people go. If you are, have your allegiance to Yoruba nation, Yoruba nation, go. Let go now and have your Yoruba nation. If you have allegiance to Fulani, Fulani, go and form your country there. So let the Igbo people form their own. They are already agitating for it, for Biafra. So why deceiving yourself here? So now this one is saying. He will not allow Mazam Khan to see his lawyers. He, not even a day. You, he, Mazam Khan has three days in a week to be visited by his lawyers. But not even a day has been allowed for the lawyers to see. Since one month now. Okay? So they have skipped, you when you times uh, three days. Okay? With, uh, you know, four weeks. You know what it means? How many days have skipped? And Mazam Khan has not seen his uh, Lawyers, it's quite unfortunate. So you have seen it happening now. So the lawyers are threatening legal action. We know that this is a, a country of lawlessness. Okay, yes, they will do little or nothing. Yes, in terms of the court uh, content of court, but it sends a warning to him, this Ajayi or or whatever they call him, to do the nefo to stop using the can to do gaga. To do initial gragra, to say, oh, I'm, I've come to work, I've arrived. If you're using the woman to do arrive, that's what they do. Boma will be a scapegoat. Yes, the scapegoat for the country. You want to do initial gragra. So there are many people you can use to do initial gragra. Go and do your, use your people to do initial gragra. Nonsense. So, uh, you appointed the uh, DSS because your body is there. Tell us your qualification and what and the, and the, your distance to to make you to be qualified to be there. If not, that nepotism has taken the root in governance. Nepotism, nepotism. They are all mediocres everywhere. Mediocrity, nepotism, taking deep seat, big one in the governance structure. Yes, there are many qualified people who have from other region, all that tribes. They are qualif abundantly qualified people to take that position. But the mediocres will be taking important positions, strategic positions in the country. Mediocrity. It's just why they are backward and backward and it's regressing in, 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 with speed of the light. In, of the light. It's regression 
sliding to poverty and hardship hunger. Yes, scorching hunger. That is it.